Just alone this year, you've done so much for the community. I want to know, what's your why? Um, that's a good question. I would say my why is I'm always trying to bring glory to God. You know, I'm always trying to reflect Christ. And as a believer, that's my most important thing is to know God and to make him known. Then I'm trying to be a good husband, trying to be a good father, trying to be a good football player because that's my profession. And then I'm trying to be an active person in the community. Let's go back to the Seattle game. A lot of people forget that there was just a lot going on heading into that game. First game without Drew Brees as the starter. When you woke up that morning and put on the man of God headband, did you ever think it would turn into what it did become? Never in a million years would I have thought it would <laughs> become this national sensation. Listen up, man. Listen up. That was something that I had in my, my locker that I've been wearing since preseason. And me being a man of God, I mean, I, I'm proud of that and I, and I wore it under my helmet. But when Drew went down, you know, I, I wasn't even thinking about that. Drew asked me to step into the huddle. And so when I went and did that, the speech ended up going viral. And then the speech going viral, of course, the NFL saw the headband that had written words on it. And, you know, it turned into this, you know, whole thing about, you know, should I wear the headband or should I not? And then it took on this whole momentum of his own. To even change the NFL's mind to take down a fine, I think is a huge deal. Why do you think they felt it was important to not make you pay that fine? I think for several reasons. Um, I think the NFL became aware that I wasn't aware, fully aware of the rule and maybe that, you know, they had probably understated, you know, what they really meant or weren't very clear about what they meant about the rule and the fact that it was under the helmet. And I also told the league that I wasn't planning on continuing to wear it. Um, but also, that I think they got a lot of pressure from fans. There are a lot of believers out there who take their faith serious and they spoke up. And I think in light of that, having that overwhelming support um, behind it, the NFL knew like, you know, we probably better we probably better back down from this situation. It could become something worse. And they did, and so I was grateful. But I'd already had my mind made that I was that, that fine money was gone. So I just transferred it into the donations that, that were already, you know, had gained so much momentum from the hospital. How is it for you to reach out to a group that not a lot of people reach out to, children? Now that was huge. That was huge. When you have a whole school of children, I mean, middle school and under, making headbands that say child of God. I mean, they made paper headbands at first. And, you know, just in support, like, you know, proud to be, you know, children, children of God. And so I wanted to return, you know, my gratitude. I just wanted to go and be around those kids that had the heart and uh, passion. It wasn't about rewarding them or anything. I just wanted to go and be around them. So my wife and I were able to get, you know, all the headbands for the entire school. It was like 400 kids and, you know, take headbands. And that, that day was just so amazing.